fabulous and I hope that you are too. Hello children, hello children, how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? If this is your first time, welcome to the Reading and Experience you with Miss Turning Friend. Hi, friend, and welcome back. Today we have a very special read aloud and a new theme. Yes, it's new. We are now starting a clothing study. If you can remember, we spoke about trees and we had some wonderful discoveries. And today we're going to be starting a new theme about clothes. Can you name an article of clothes? Yes. Good job. Can you name something else? Look at your body. What type of clothing do you have on? Do you have a long sleeve shirt? Do you have a short sleeve shirt? Do you? Well, as you can see, I kind of have a quarter length shirt, or I guess you can call it a short sleeve shirt. Well, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the theme. We're going to be talking about features of shirts and clothing and pants, just clothing as a whole. We're gonna be talking about how to take care of clothes. We're gonna be talking about special clothes that you wear for holidays or special clothes that parents wear to work. We're gonna be talking about how to make clothes. We're gonna be talking about where we go to buy clothes. And I hope that you are able to learn something new. Today, we have a special story to kick off our clothing theme, and it's called Caps for Sale. Do you have a cap? Is there a cap on your head? Is there a cap on my head? <laughs> I think so. Well, we're going to be talking about caps, and it says a tale of a peddler. Some monkeys and their monkey business. So there's going to and be the story lots is of monkey told business and on. illustrated by Esfer Sobel Kenna. So let's go ahead and start our reading. Are you ready? Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back, he carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checker cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, and a bunch of blue caps, on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight, as not to upset the caps. As he went along, he called, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so not to upset the caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First, his own checker cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. 
all he felt was his own checkered cat. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked to the back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cat. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <laughs> This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you. <gasps> You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both of their hands back at him and said... <laughs> now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps! But the monkeys, but the monkeys only, only stamped their, their feet back, back at him, at him and, him said, and said... <laughs> This time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both of his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both of their feet back at him and said, <laughs> At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and threw it on the ground and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checker cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly walked back to town calling caps. Caps for sale. 50 cent a cap. The story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bop. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. As an extension activity, how about you draw an article of clothing and label it? An article of clothing is one piece of clothes. Maybe you can draw a shirt and write the word shirt. Maybe you can draw pants and write the word pants. Maybe you can have a scavenger hunt. Why don't you take 60 seconds to go see how many socks you could collect? When you get done, if you have a sibling, maybe you can compare to see who got more. Well, I hope that you have fun. It's definitely been fun for me. Feel free to send me some of your portraits. Until next time, so long.